Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here I have a Frame Arms Girl Architect. Uh, I have never built a Frame Arms Girl before, but I have built a Frame Arms uh, model before, uh, which kind of left me with some like good vibes. Um, some parts just really was not uh, like staying on, so I, you know, I never glued it, but um, that was probably gonna be the solution I would have to go to is glue some of those pieces on there. Um, I forgot what the name of the one was. It was like, um, it was something Lord. Um, I, I really can't remember the name of, of the, uh, the kit I built, but I'm very interested in the Frame Arms Girl because I've seen a couple of the episodes of the anime, and it looks pretty fun. It's kind of like Bill Fighters, uh, but they really put a lot of emphasis on customization and just really like taking care of your model kits, so that way you can go into battle. Um, so I think just with that premise, I'm really super excited to go ahead and start building these, and I really want to have like my own customized kind of, um, you know, my own personal uh, Frame Arms girl that is going to be like suited to my kind of battle style. So. With this one in particular, I think I'm gonna do a long range, and then maybe when I buy another one, I'll kind of customize her to be more of a, a mid-range slash cl close range. But that's gonna be a little bit later on in the future. So as of right now, I'm really excited to go ahead and uh, build this one since it is my first Frame Arms Girl. Okay, so looking at the front cover right here, um, it looks really awesome. Um, it, it's very simplistic. There's really not much that is in the way of the background, uh, much like a Gundam model, which has generally an entire battlefield going on but for the frame arms uh it's just a pretty much white background for all the um you know the girl ones i think i've seen some that had a different color background that had like a, it was a different kind of box overall uh but for this one it's just white and i think this is pretty much a different version of the architect uh because right down here it says off-white version and i don't remember i don't know um if there is a different one of this but usually when they have like off-white version or they have like some kind of version, um, at least for the Frame Arms series, there's generally a different version of that actual mobile suit. Because I've seen a whole bunch of them that had, uh, from just the regular Frame Arms kits, uh, they had, you know, different colors or they might have different weapons for some of the, uh, the actual, I guess, I don't know if they're mobile suits or I guess for some of the robots that they have. Now this kit does originally retail for 3,800 yen. Um, to be honest, I don't know if that's expensive or if that's cheap, you know, for these uh, kits. Uh, but you know, if you can go ahead and get a, a good sale going, uh, I only paid 3,000, so I figured, eh, 30 bucks for this uh, really isn't that bad. And as you can see right here on the side, uh, you do get a front and rear, um, pretty much a pose of this kit. The one thing that kind of intrigues me. Is for all the frame arms girls I've seen, they generally have uh, more armor as well as more weapons, but this one doesn't have any of that. It's just a very bare, um, you know, frame arms girl. Uh, so it's kind of odd. Like, do I need to buy another frame arms kit in order to, you know, borrow the uh, armor from that, or is there maybe like separate armor, um, you know, a, a separate armor kit that I can buy for this? Uh, any help in the comments would definitely be appreciative. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to do some more research on my own. Uh, but if I need to go out there and just buy like a whole nother uh, frame arms kit Like an entire kit just to go ahead and put the armor on this. That's kind of a, a lot of money uh, Being put into this and it's, to me a pretty big investment, uh, but over here you also get different faces so uh, You get pretty much the looks like a pouty face the other ones are looking down and looking over They all pretty much to me look exactly the same type of face, but um, you know, they are going to be water slides, so that's really amazing. Uh, I, I really didn't want it to be stickers, so the fact that it's going to be water slides uh, makes this thing, you know, way more fantastic. Okay, so taking a look at this side, um, it basically, you know, saying, hey, customize this using the Frame Arms kits. And uh, I don't know what kit this is from, but obviously, um, you know, she's just using multiple armor parts as well as a giant weapon from that actual um, kit. Which is pretty cool, and I'm gonna do something very similar to this, but uh, we'll just go ahead and wait and see. And then over here, it looks like it's just um, pretty much an unpainted, you know, finished version of it. And then on this side, it's pretty much just like warning and hey, don't put it in your mouth, and you know, don't let kids under however age uh, mess with this and build it because they're probably choke on it. So uh, I think it's just like four, yeah, 14 years and uh, up is pretty much what they want to go ahead and recommend the age usage to build this model kit. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with the white runners. Um, this is runner G. Uh, I don't really know what all these parts are going to. It looks like maybe some are going to 
maybe the feet, the legs, uh, but I can't really tell for certain, but uh, the white color is pretty nice. It's a pretty durable plastic. Uh, pretty much the same as Gumpla, but um, I, I think once I start building it, it may be different because uh, the, the the original frame arms kit that I built was very different than the Gumpla plastic. So uh, we'll go ahead and see. All right, next is gonna be runner B. Uh, pretty much looks like it's gonna be a part of the waist, arms, uh, maybe a part of the body, and maybe some of the arms. Uh, but I think this is the uh, stand piece right here, if I'm not mistaken. You get two runner C's. Uh, these are going to be for the legs as well as, uh, I think as well as the feet if I'm not mistaken. And here's runner J. Runner J is going to be more for the legs. Now moving on to the only runner that is pretty much like a very dark purple, uh, almost black, uh, especially on camera it looks pretty black, but um, this is going to be uh, a very dark purple and this is going to be uh, most of the hair. Uh, I don't think there's anything else on the kit that's just uh, dark purple, but it uh, looks like the majority of it is going to be uh, for the head and hair. Alright, so looking at the light purple, uh, I, I'm guessing all these little like pegs is pretty much going to be stuff for the joints. Um, but this is pretty much uh, runner W and it looks like it's just going to be a couple of uh, poly cap joints. Here we have runner E, you're going to get a nice little knife right here. And then this is going to be all of uh, the legs. Uh, looks pretty cool, so um, definitely unique and uh, definitely intrigued to go ahead and build this. Here we have two runner Fs, uh, pretty much going to be more of the joints. Next we have runner H. Runner H is going to be for the skirts uh, as well as like just parts all around the kit because there's pretty much a light purple all around including the uh, I think parts of the legs and parts of the arm if I'm not mistaken. Next we have runner I. This is pretty much going to be for uh, I think this is a neck piece right here and I have no idea what this piece right here is. Alright next we have runner A. Runner A is going to be pretty much more of the flesh tone stuff so uh, it looks like a lot of just going to be the legs as well as uh, arms. Uh, maybe, I don't know, it looks like some maybe joints, but uh, looks like mostly going to be for the legs and uh, body. Here we have some more polycap parts. Uh, these are definitely going to be more for the joints if I'm not mistaken. Here we have runner H, looks like more of that is going to be for the body and uh, more polycap joints. And lastly for the runners, you got runner X. Uh, the next part is just going to be, you know, more of the small parts that are not actually runners, but just individual pieces. So you get different types of hands, uh, look for, they look pretty cool, I mean you get like a, a closed fist, you're going to get an open hand, another open hand, well one's like a karate hand, one's going to be a more open hand, one's going to be a grabby, and then one's going to be a pointing finger, so uh, this is pretty dope, I actually like this. Next you're going to get some more parts that I want to say that uh, the, the, the white parts might be for the head, I know this piece right here, this uh, light purple, is going to be for the neck. You get a pretty nice little basic stand. Now this is the part that actually kind of confuses me a little bit. You get these already uh, pre-painted like eyes for the head right here, but you also get water slides. So it, if someone can kind of chime chime in and let me know what's the purpose of having water slides if you're already going to have um, the eyes pretty much painted on the head. I, I, I really don't know what, what the purpose of that is. So if someone can let me know, that'd be great. All right, and then looking at the uh, instruction manual, looks really good in the front, nothing really too crazy. Over here you get like a little color picture of the model kit as well as the illustration kind of comparison. And I really do wish that Gunpla would do more of this. Uh, I know you do get the illustration and everything inside, but I wish they would do a really nice comparison right there next to each other. Uh, but basic instructions, there's really nothing uh, crazy as far as um, you know anything details. Uh, and in here, you're going to get the color guide right there for the entire kit. And then more of just like, hey, this is the front and the back of the, um, the frame arms girl. And then this is, I guess, the little gimmick for her grabbing the stocking, I guess. Uh, so that's pretty much about it. Um, nothing else crazy about this. So that's it, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to be able to finish this maybe in the next two days or so. Um, just really depends on what's going on because I have a lot of stuff. Uh, I need to do around the house, buying some new furniture and everything. Uh, but I'll try and get this review done and over with as soon as possible. But uh, that's it guys, thanks for watching. Definitely rate, comment, subscribe if you can. And uh, stay tuned for more, whether it's Gunpla goodness or maybe even Frame Arms Girl goodness. So I'll see y'all later, bye.